Match of the week, OG versus Nigma, a rematch of the TI9 Grand Finals. That's a bit I rough. Think, can see it's still technically. You know, we leave that. Um, but top lane, our job is to look for the fights. Miracle dropping very, very low. Seb still believes he's got this fight in him, and he does. Spilling first blood against Miracle. Kuro going the Illuminate first build. There's some decent damage into Seb to finish off the job. Ends up being a one for one trade off. Even in a in a normal setting, if you will, TA should be winning this lane. Maybe not this much, but. Uh, no surprise here. It's Weeha's probably single best mid hero, uh, and it's a lane dominator. Going again on bottom of lane. Samel just running down mind control. GH with a rolling ball to try to create an extra bit of space. Mind control's got stick charges available, and now he's coming down, and the courier also wants to die. Samel looks at it. As he looks, he dies. Top lane. Yep, Two deaths per minute. We need another kill here. Are oh, you going to get it? Miracles. Oh. No way he's going to get back in time. At least Kura can hit the blast on both. Nope, just on Saxa. His own farm up now. Flash farm up into that Desolator. He's got uh, Treads coming out in the Courier for the moment. The bottom lane, no tell. Is there an extra stun to land? There at least is one from the Ember Spirit, but Mind Control and GH trying to work against this Ember Spirit. Flame Guard's got a little extra time on it. Keeper of the Light will die in the meantime. Weaver catching Kuro out of the outpost while Miracle then wants to get his own jump in, but Darks are going to complete his duty. Actually, in a way, it kind of ruined the smoke play to an extent. Whereas maybe if he played a bit more defensively, they could... Oh, they might still get a mid, though. Yep. Right after that Invoker. The Soulbind is out. No tell. Hoping for some kind of like, combination rupture. with that. And that's why you got the double rupture to work for it. Kuro laying them battle underneath the Willow Wisp. It has been taken out now. Enigma can just stand and wait off the rupture, which has now happened. And get ready back to fight. Those are big spells on cooldown now. Yeah, OG's coming to fight themselves. TP's coming in. Inkswell's off cooldown. Samal ready to go for the jump. Weeha's probably going to be your biggest target you'd want to get. Mind Control, Miracle. Everyone's grouping up together. And now the Spirit jump forward. It is going to be Weeha. The stun control is absolutely perfect. He's down for 46 seconds without buyback available. Weaver and Bloodseeker both looking for the Ursa. And the Tornado will send him up. No way to run away. But he did buy a little extra time for his teammates to come over. But the Blood Rite is going to be enough. Miracle enrages and gets back to the T1 tower. Can't say him the same for GH. And actually even back at the tower is not a safe place to be. Samel spirits himself forward, finds the kill. My control would love to get a Reaper Scythe kill and get something in return for all of this. But you know what? Seb's still ready to fight himself. Coming between the tier one and tier two tower. And do you want to get Roshan? Then that's going to be a hard task against OG. Yeah, for sure. Like this, to me, this is not a good Ursa game. I think the hero has way too many problems in this until it gets oh, BKB. Oh, Raja, there's the combo. Reaper Scythe, that's all going on to Seb, however, and the damage just wasn't enough. Rolling ball to four, maybe with the Ignis. No, Soulbind. Miracle and GH both have to start backing up as Seb is currently Speedy Gonzalez trying to find his new target with an Ink Swell, Slide of Fist, jump to the back line. Samel's a little too late for that one, still battling at their own T1 tower. Nigma, five heroes grouped up together. At least they can get the heal from Mind Control in one second time and maybe stay alive as Seb continues to speed around. And now the jump comes in from Samel with the Spirit's committal forward. They can just push through and Seb, he is at 968 movement speed. Nigma, you can't run from this. This is the bullet train of OG under the tier 3 tower. He'll find the kill. He'll lose his life, but it's all for the spectacle that is OG. He needs to play. Okay, let's list all the problems he has. <laughs> Do we have slight, time? <laughs> slight chains. I don't, I don't think you, you, don't, you don't have time. Oh, the fight started up on top lane. Rolling Boulder forward. It's mid one is being initiated on, but no tell. Gets the double silence out. The Reaper Scythe does not kill mid one. The Ignis will buy an extra bit of time, but this easy stun lock from Grimstroke with the Inkswell will do the work, but now TA, Weeha has arrived. He got himself silenced, he's still on the edge of the blood, right? Oh. My control, he barely lives through this. The mech charges, able to actually get the extra ones off too. Weaver's looking for the rebuttal, looking to get through the back lines onto mind control. He's got the bug on him while Seb has just de dove the base. <laughs> Why not? Everyone's low enough anyway. Just watch that speed counter start to rise as Samal's got himself a double kill. We're at 900 movement speed. Another jump forward from Samal, but Ursa will enrage up and they're gonna find the kill. Samal's streak is ended by Weeha, but you got another big stun. Sucks is just a delivery service at the moment, but Weeha, he's the executioner. 
killing off the bugs inside the tier 3 tower. Seb's not done. He still wants another kill. Looking for the fight onto GH. One extra control is something there. Right now, the only thing that's there is Weehar. He's the last man standing for Nygma. One more attack. In fact, the TA trap will let him get the kill. And the BKB is here and ready to go once again. Bloodseeker will start his TP out. There's no Mel Bash just yet. We're not at 25s. Well executed spell casting that really then, you know, intricacy, strategic intricacies. Oh, right. That sounded way too Going up to mid one, GH can get the rolling in. Remember, they've got the kick follow up and miracles get the jumps for two. And mid one having a very hard time getting away. He's got support, however. Ursa, silent start for the moment. No with a whisk, two seconds on cooldown. Ursa needs more time to survive. The essence ring and the blinding light might provide exactly that for the soulbind. You're in rage, it's a double rupture. You have to stand on the ground and fight Miracle. Still trying to run out of the blood right. He's just on the edge, but still going to end up going down. That doesn't mean Grimstroke gets to live. Nigma, everyone's trying to get the back lines. A rolling boulder forward from GH. Just make sure the Bloodseeker can't keep running forward. He'll able to get another rolling boulder away. Can't get up the hill into safety as Weeha. He's hiding under Meld. The rolling boulder sucks. Up. He actually blocked it. Able to get the swarm out, allowing time for Samel to close the distance. And they're pinging out. Does anyone have detection? There's, there's dust. There's dust over on the Weaver. TA will begin his TP away to safety, and there's no searing chains in range to stop him. Nice play from Wii. He... This is what it was like yesterday. Yeah. Like, OG versus OGC was the same type of thing, and Nygma wants to play the same battle. Now TA, no BKP. It was on cooldown for five seconds when this fight began. Now it's coming back off. He'll get it up and running. The Soulbind is there, but Weeha won't have to care too much. He still wants this kill over on Bloodseek, but they can't move forward. The double rupture doing his work. And Samel can come in. The BKP's worn off, and Weeha very susceptible. Nothing more that Kuro could do in Weeha. Well, with him being Seb's down, running. the rest of his teammates to pick off Seb. Oh, well, he's running, he's being kicked, he's just moving everywhere. He's got, who's he got? He's got Miracle. But then again, has Miracle got him into the trees? The jump forward, unable to connect, and Miracle, you have to battle with a bug on his back. In fact, a lot of bugs. It's called the OG lineup. They're surrounding him. GH wants a rolling boulder away, but once again, the Weaver has had a body block him back out, so GH will die in the trees. A miracle is the sole survivor for Enigma, but don't worry, they'll respawn and we'll go again. Let's fight. Yep. Samael runs forth, gets a steering change, careful. My control and we are too close once again and that double rupture, it just keeps coming and coming. Sep will set his ground, Kura gets hit so hard, the Will-O-Wisp is buying a little extra space. Now here comes GH with a rolling bottle forward. My control just buys back into the fight as Miracle needs to get the 21 charges off. He's just permanently stunned in front of the tier three talent, does not have buyback available. We are has set the trap, oh hits God, so man. hard into Samael, dropping him. He needs one more hit for Samael. He's able to spirit himself away to safety. He's able to see Sep. No. But Weeha sees his target. Rolling Boulder Ford is oh. off for the 25 minute rune. And now Samael. They will get the damage in with the Silent Samael trying to get that spirit away. It won't happen. He's dead for a minute. And for the first time in 10 minutes, the Radiant lineup is running bottom left a little bit. <laughs> a now little they're running bit. full left. No, no, no. Oh we my god. They're gonna fight we got anyway. double silence. We got double rupture. We're on it again. How much life can you actually have? The Enrager Miracle will let him survive as a rolling boulder from GH goes at the back lines. Once again, they're trying to kill off the Crimstroke. Mind Control, he's got the Reaper side of the Valor, but the Aghanim Scepter from Weaver gives Crimstroke all the life back that he costly requires as Weeha totally on the run. Silenced up, trying to man mode against a BKB to Bloodseeker. That won't work. The Reaper side can't put down mid one. He'll still end up going down thanks to the control time they had. But Necroforce, Seb, he'll bring him down underneath the neutrals. Or will they? TP out? Anyone? No. Nope. Mind control. Beautifully played to get home. More mobility on Weaver is really nice when you have Ags. You can get across cliffs. You can easily get in range to use your Ags. You can even scout for your team because you're so fast when you use Shikuchi and Spider Legs. You really just run into the enemy team, break smokes, and still survive. 30 seconds is up. Send wrap up your points. Yep. Enigma's coming They're again. They're getting ready. Double smoke. Oh, I like this target though. Samel, Rolling Boulder gonna come in and once again it's GH starting the initiation. They have to keep the silence up, however! Without the control, the Reaper's Scythe almost had to be in range and now OG converged. They saw the blood. They're coming again, a perfect two tornado, putting down the ice wall as well. GH can Rolling Boulder away from this one. You can't say the same from Necro, at least you don't have the double rupture target. Happening once again, so Necro will go down. No buyback available. Again, now the soul bind. Catching us, a catching TA. They try and lock him down, and TA is falling to the BK beat up. Bloodseeker is beyond unbelievably powerful. Cotter will die in the trees, and that may just be the time to push for the game. Maybe they can go down the mid lane, and there's in fact Nick must say no more. No, no more. 
GG is We needed called. one more kill. It's 61 kills in 31 minutes. Close enough, Sid. Oh. Close enough. We'll have to no. do. With the team fight advantage, and specifically mind controls Axe, I feel like if there's somebody who's going to win the game for them, it's going to be him. Ember can't find the CS. He keeps taking damage from the battle hunger. And it's hard to find CS when you're fire spirited. So... Um, oh, Ruji is just synergy. full contesting for bounty runes. Arrow's gonna fly forward. Oh, she connects on TH. Samael combining with the Illuminate Blast from Notel. They have the damage. Samael will spill first blood after being the one dropped to 100 HP. So you're playing against a Phoenix X who can pressure you really hard, right? So the way you play around pressure is you force them back into their tower. If you push the wave like this, Notel gets access to pulling, and that oh, way you can try to maximize on fire. Yeah, yeah, you might die uh, anyway. It's good. Yeah. They, they're really strong. And now they try and flash farm up, Axe. Let's see how much you can contest. He's got call available. If he actually pulls the mail back in, it would be huge. But there's a lot of damage coming in from mid one. The arrow connects once again. OG tipping mind controls like, yeah, did you want any of that? It just happened in the transfer from Liquid to Enigma. Trying to go again up on top. Mind control, gonna get the call out. They got extra. Hold on, Samael. The arrow will fly forward, not hitting its target. But four heroes from OG arriving on top lane. Hey, Mind Control, they want you. They choose you. A raindrop um, doesn't have anything like a hood build up. Ember or something Spirit, like that. long jump forward. Sakura, so able to get the silence off. GH is trying to keep Samael back, throws out the extra sprite, and you're seeing TPs arrive. Arrow flies forward. Kuro will dodge it. GH giving the extra life back over, but now he wants to try and turn that into damage. Samael, the primary target, clipped on the edge of the Sunray. No tell TP out. We have, we'll get the Reaper Scythe out, cancelling the TP of the Keeper of the Light. I think we might be dead. Post on forward, they're going to yeah, use Arrow, the Willow Wisp, and everything else you've got. And the TP comes in Miracle. You'll get the spin off in time before the magic missile from mid one's able to connect. But now Stampede forward, one charge available. He needs to actually get it off to have enough life to even have a chance to Omni Slash. He really wanted that Willow Wisp. I mean, he's fighting into Venge. He knows he can get swapped. Oh, Samel. Samel? Yeah, he's just going to walk it off. He has haste, And he does. Like, mm -hmm. They have just completely ruined him. And they can do it because and Seth now can just skip in this game. Under yeah. the Observer, under the Sentry, they get the Hoof Stomp over on Weeha with the will o -Wisp down, another arrow control. Need to kill Necro before he can get the Ghost Shroud heal off. The Silence will be there and they actually find the kill. So hey, we're back over to Mind Control. Let's uh, continue exactly where they started. A swap up, Kuro, now trapped in the middle of the team. He's able to get the Soul Bind, Blinding Light pushing him back, another arrow! Sucks up. he's actually able to connect on the target without any kind of setup this time around. So Miracle can't get involved. OG. They got the call, but there's five heroes ready to try and fight, but Kuro already threw out the Phantom's Embrace, so no double silence available. Oh. Blinding Light pushing away, so Seb couldn't get the hoof stop initiation that he was searching for. Miracle just wants to finish up Don't Tell over in the tree lines, the Phoenix Egg. That was well far back, but heavy commitment. Okay. We have our 5v5 under the tier one tower on bottom. Seb wants to be the tank of the front lines, but he's burning underneath the sun ray. GH doesn't have much more to give, and now maybe with the Omni Slash, have you got some extra damage? He doesn't have the mana for it. Now he does. Miracle, the Omni Slash will now come out. Seb is brought down, held in place just long enough by the Reaper's Scythe, but the bigger hero they want, they want some mail. They want to finish the job with the arrow. Saxon connects in the back line. He'll work with mid ones, and Miracle can't keep the chase going. And Samael just walks it off. Just like a bad stitch to OG. Yeah, they really needed this fight to go well after OG screwed up the initiation, like you pointed out, with the Caudal and Centaur kind of counterplaying each other. But even with that, OG still came out on top in the end here. See yeah, if that's they can get any extra vessel. kills. And they're trying to kill off GH by Weeha by putting it on him mid one. Trapped for the moment, but now the Willow Wisp. Everyone comes back. Wee's low on life. The perfect slide of fist searing chains from Samael. He's been battling for the last minute and a half on probably one fifth of his HP, but he doesn't care. Mind Control's got the dunk and they're all playing around him on low life. He'll get the call and tried to go for the dunk, but there was never going to be joy there. Too much life for the Ember Spirit holding one charges. Looking for a hoof some target. He wants Weeha. The Observer Ward that's been planted is out of range of the Radiant Sentry. Oh, they saw that. Smoke, smoke will happen, but Mind Control very close. And now Arrow, Sun Combination. From 100 to zero, he'll end up dropping down. But where's your follow-up? You go for your ink swell. Miracle. Near absolutely no one's. Now the stuns. OG. They realize they don't exist. In fact, they just go for their own. A slide of fist searing chains, both being connected with. Whoop. Seb. 
Try to almost next level miracle there, getting a blinding light and then hopefully into the hoof stop, but that won't happen. Soulbind's on the Ember Spirit, now the Omni Slash will connect out. They find the kill onto Samel underneath the egg. Oh gee, there's enough players up, they'll take care of that. Especially considering it's only a level one egg, we have no life to really be given because with that Spirit Vessel on him, nothing can be granted. Another wave of terror, so much negative armor. And the swap back miracle can't spin away to safety. Phase Brutes can't get away fast enough either. Axe trying to get this call into the double ink swell, but there's no follow up. All he's got is Kuro with him, and Kuro doesn't really give that much damage, especially when he's got no mana and everything on cooldown. Strong team fight, strong catch, and mind control might just be dead again. Yep. Yep. They're going Pretty after good. it. Now, maybe you do get a double silence. Mind control will die to get the initiation off. Miracle's trying to get there in time to get the... Well, he's got no Omni Slash. They're running in for this fight, but I don't know exactly what fight they are thinking they're going to get. GH gets pushed away once again by the Blinding Lions. They're able to keep the chainsaw going and finishes him with a double edge. While in mid lane, we hard just isolated. It's, it's brutal. And they're coming up for their own fight. One little golem looking to chase after Marana. And one more leap down she goes and the BTs are up from, from Seb. He jumps on the back of the of the uh, warrior, the Hellbear Smasher. And with a Will-O-Wisp, they're all caught out once again. Axe being pushed back inside the Will-O-Wisp with side of fist searing chains and a double damage rim from Samael. All the damage in the world from Miracle. Can't even kill off mid one. And that may be the game. You lose four. Yes, VS to get killed off by the Reaper's side. But is, is it obviously. also just because it's a stompy, stompy kind of build? Possible. I know. I don't know if you would have bought this if it was a closer game, but it's really cool to have that swap into fear, right? It's uh, in the meta right now. Nice. I think it's better than it used to Looking be. for the stuns and the spirits. Um, that's not exactly what they were hoping for, probably. Buys a little bit of extra time now. Necro arriving. Stampede from OG being used to not move back. In fact, being used to get more aggressive underneath the melee racks. Say goodbye to Weeha. Axe is doing the best he can. Mind Control can only run in and call. There's nothing more he can do. There's still no Omni Slash. He's trying to find time for Miracle to get that final point of damage in towards Seb, but it won't happen. They're all five dead. GG is called.